Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. In this video I want to try out if it's possible to improvise an oven from such a tin can for baking bread, pizza or something else. I brought this one kilogram ravioli tin can from at home but unfortunately there is a good chance that you will find an empty tin can somewhere around the fireplace or somewhere in the nature, at least in a civilized area. I use a second tin can for improvise uh, baking tray for put in the goods and take out the goods if they are ready. But I'm sure a flat stone would also work for this. If the can is not already open, first step is to open the can on one side. In this case, I don't remove the lid totally because the remaining connection part to the rim I can use as a hinge. If the lid is totally away, you have to improvise a hinge with a piece of wire or something else. So, <laughs> ravioli is not really my, my favorite meal, but uh, I have the, the whole day time for eating one kilogram ravioli. <laughs> so, next step is to clean the, the tin can a little bit. So, meanwhile, I start the fire and I went down to the creek for cleaning the tin can. Now you can see the white uh, coat inside the tin can. This is a plastic layer. Uh, and, and most of the tin cans have such a, a plastic coat inside. And as soon you want to cook inside the tin can or you want to bake inside the, the tin can, I highly recommend to burn out this layer. So this takes maybe 50 minutes and for that I put the tin can direct in the fire. So this empty fish can is my baking tray and I put it also into the fire. After 20 minutes in the fire, I went down to the creek for cleaning the residues. And uh, if this procedure is safe enough for you or not, that's, uh, that's on, on, on your responsibility. That's your decision. For me, it's safe enough. So that should be okay. Down at the creek I found this little piece of wire and I decided to make a little handle 
on the lid. With this handle I can easier open and close the door of the oven if the oven is hot. Exactly for this work, I like the tongue of my Swiss jam. So at home, I prepared dough, and now I start to create the pizza. So, as you can see, we have a big distance between the bottom where the heat comes and uh, the baking tray. So I started about to put some stones on it for uh, an additional uh, isolation layer, but I think this will work like this. So close the door. and let's put it into the fire. So after five minutes, let's check the first time. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at this. Let's check the bottom. Wow. <laughs> So let's test if the pizza is delicious.
Super. Wow. That makes me feel like in an Italian vacation. <laughs> Super. My second project is to bake a little bread. Close the door and now I put it into the fire. Mmm, that's perfect. All in all, I'm super happy with the performance from this oven. Uh, this works fantastic. So my friends, as you certainly noticed, the quality of this video was not as good as usual. Uh, the problem is I had to make this video again without my cameraman Jill. So the corona situation in Switzerland make it, make it a bit more complicated that we can meet us. And, uh, but nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you next Friday again. Ciao!